there's a number of ways by which the gastrointestinal microbes can influence what goes on in your head, whether you're depressed, having anxiety or panic attacks, the content of your dreams, how well you sleep, your dialogue, your internal dialogue, mood, all these things are influenced heavily by gut microbes. So that endotoxin I talked about, it's called LPS endotoxin, lipopolysaccharide endotoxin. That's that bacterial breakdown product. So this question has been asked, how come many people who take standard antidepressants, like the SSRIs, why do many people not respond? So it's become clear that people who don't respond to antidepressants have higher levels of inflammation, higher C-reactive protein, IL-6, and other markers. So this, this question was asked, what if we took normal, non-depressed people and injected, I'm always impressed that they did this, and injected that endotoxin into their bloodstream? Because even a microscopic amount, and the, if there's a miscalculation, you can kill somebody. That's how toxic it is. So they took normal, non-depressed people, injected a little teensy amount of that endotoxin, and they developed depression within three hours. And they did MRI scans of their brains, and it showed all the hallmarks of depression, all the signs of depression. And this has been done several times. In other words, the microbes in the GI tract that get into your small bowel and release endotoxin is a major contributor likely to depression. That's one means by which the gut can affect the brain. There's other ways. One of my favorite microbes of all to replace is one almost everybody has lost, lactobacillus reuteri. One of the things, if we believe the experimental evidence, sends a signal through the vagus nerve to the brain to release the hormone oxytocin, the hormone of love, empathy, and generosity. And by the way, so that's one of the things we've been doing is replacing lactobacillus reuteri. And we're seeing people say, I, I like my partner better. I like my coworkers better. I feel more generous. I'm less anxious in social situations. My favorite, I'm more accepting of other people's opinions. So we're seeing all this play out. Now, the interesting thing about reuteri and oxytocin is it's also become clear oxytocin has other effects. Ladies love it because they start to lose their fine wrinkles around their eyes and, and mouth. Guys love it because you have a restoration of youthful muscle. There's an increase in testosterone. There's uh, suppression of appetite, deeper sleep. Now here, I added yogurt made with lactobacillus casei, Sharota strain. You can buy it as a commercial product called Yakult. Another way is microbes, especially species like Fecalobacterium prosnitzii, Acromancia mucinophila, uh, other species of Lachnospiracea, Ruminococcaceae, and some Clostridia species. <laughs> so these produce something called butyrate when you feed them. So if you feed them a fiber like inulin that you get from onions or garlic or green unripe banana is another source or commercial mm -hmm. powder of inulin, that feeds those microbes. And they produce something called butyrate. And butyrate you absorb and it has brain effects as well as blood pressure and blood sugar reducing effects, but it has an effect. So a lot of people who first add prebiotic fibers like inulin to their diet say, oh, I can't believe the dreams I had. And I was deep sleep. You know, you when you're dreaming, you're in very deep sleep. My sleep is profound and deep and restoring. And I had like childlike dreams. I'm flying. I'm showing up at the school play without having rehearsed my lines. So all that stuff comes back. So those are some of the ways that the microbes, who would have thought, right? Microbes in the gut influence what goes on in the brain, but it's a profound influence.